so um, regarding the opening and uh, closing rates for uh, each month so every company should uh, maintain the exchange rates on a monthly basis so as per the um, the accounting and um, policies within the company and uh, you need to maintain so let's say i have a usd into um to euro and uh, this is uh, actually from the 101 2021 so i need to maintain the exchange rate uh, USD to Euro, let's say 0 0.80. So in January, so let's say I put until uh, maybe the five digits, uh, it's up to you, and uh, four digits. So let me go to the system again and, and see the exchange rate, uh, maybe. Um, let's say one year and uh, january so when i look into the january so when i convert into usd uh, us dollar to euro then um, in, in january it's uh, 82 so you can see here which is on the first january first Jan is actually um, so if I if I really go here you can see so this is where um, um, you can see the exchange rate on 1st of January is 82 which is uh, to let's say and again I, I will check uh, on 31st of uh, 01 2021 same exchange rate so here so in the month of uh, So let's say it becomes 83. So you can see here. So then again, when I'm going, I'm going to use this is my opening rate. Open um, rate and closing rate. Now this closing rate will be my opening rate. In the month of. So this is where how they maintain the closing rates, exchange rates. So how the system, how, how we are going to maintain within the system these exchange rates uh, um, in, 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 in this way so we are I'm going to show you and uh, this is just I'm giving an example and uh, this will be a closing rate and whatever the transactions you posted you are going to post here so the valuation will be done by the system using these exchange rates so let's say in the month of 31st of January you are going to do the valuation so system should be able to post there's a gain or loss from here to here. So the, the, the system is going to calculate a gain or loss using the USD to, to, to Euro. So when, when it is going to do the conversion, so it will post an unrealized gain or loss for all the open items. Yeah. So um, I will I will quickly show you. So now when you are doing this uh, maintenance what the system how system know this is a closing rate and uh, this is a date and this is from currency to currency rate 
and 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 this is a date so now how the system knows this is a open and this is a close and again this is open for the next month so that's where you you are having exchange rate type So you can define our own exchange rate. So usually the online transactions we use M for normal posting, and and this is where we define in 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 the in the company code. So you can see this is M. So in the in the case of how many exchange rate types available, you can see here. So these are all the exchange rate types so here <clears throat> I don't have any um, all right key and and this is a B for bank selling G for bank buying and M for standard average and uh, current exchange rate I don't have anything for a closing rates so i am going to define another exchange rate type uh, is for a closing which may be um, exchange rate type uh, called um, close let's say yeah okay so how many characters only four it's allowing okay so closing rate so I just say um, or, or uh, I will say C C for closing and for online transaction so I'm going to maintain the exchange rate uh, like this and in, in the system so yeah this is how a um, system able to identify this is a closing rate when you do the valuation based on the setup we are going to do in the system and uh, when it is posting transactional then this is how the system is going to recognize the postings so this is how is the the, the every company organization they are going to maintain the exchange rates based on um, each uh, month and closing so this will they will be done this is part of uh, maintaining this exchange rates on the closing and and maintaining on the next month usually uh, uh, will be done these two will be done as part of a month and closing yeah? before running before executing the foreign currency valuation in the system so Hope uh, this is clear uh, functionally. Then I will go in detail uh, in the system for postings.